Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I just show you about the admin module or you can see the admin login. When you click on login, it will move to the this page. Here you can see that add new student, new insert new student, registered student, all student results. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to sh write the codes for the add new student. And basically, my main focus is on GSP part. So I already provided the link in description. Of the all codes which are I am using in this project of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay, so it's time to start the project. So first we need jar file. Okay, uh, of MySQL. Okay, so here you can see that I already downloaded. I am just going to copy it. You need to copy it in the bif content folder. You have there is a folder bif inf. There is a library folder. Okay, just copy it and click on OK. This one is you can see that copy. Now we have to create a package here, so we can provide a connection. Okay, so here we are creating a project name package project, and this we are going to create a class. Uh, that one is our connection connection provider. Provider, clicking on finish. Now, first we need to import import my uh, sorry import Java dot SQL. Okay. Now, now we have to create a method public static static method connection get on. Uh, it's showing error because we did not return function return any function you can see that this method return a result type of connection okay so we have a try and catch to suppress the exception catch exception e okay now here i'm writing class dot for name and here I'm writing com dot mysql if you're using oracle database uh, this name is different okay just go to the google and search it driver and after that we have to create a connection to uh, connection enter page connection called driver driver manager dot get con con first we need to write the url so for my dub my database the url is jdbc mysql mysql localhost localhost 3306 default port number of uh, mysql after that we have to write the database name so let me create the database first okay create data base i am writing project one okay now our database has been created now here sorry now here we have to write the project one now we have to enter the default you uh, enter the default username of our database after that we have to write the password now, now you can see that password is one two three four five six okay now we have to return connection con okay now if it will not return then it it should return null here now you can see that all the errors has been removed because we return the enter okay now now we have to write the codes to insert okay 
so here you can see that the action for the add new student the action is add new student dot jsp okay so just let me copy this now we are going to create a jsp file for it like for the action add new student click on finish now here we have to write the codes for the action so first we need going to import import yeah project project dot connection provider connection provider okay it should be in this okay import import okay now in the same way we are going to import for my uh, import for java dot sql okay now we have to get the parameter from that page so the first is a string string we are taking course it has a variable that request request dot get parameter and the argument we are setting right now and let me check out the name of the first here let me search here you can see that course here you see the name so here we are taking the name is uh, here course okay in the same way we are writing for others okay one two three five there's six fields so the first one is for the course and branch for the second one and roll number third one and name fourth father name and at last gender you can see all these name here if you want to change it just we can just get here and change a branch you can see here roll number name father's name gender you can see here okay now we are also renaming it as same branch roll number name We are taking a variable here okay father name at last gender now we are taking it all now we have to try and catch method for it and here we are writing exception exception e so if any error occur out dot print ln it will just print it okay now we have to write the connection connection con and here we are writing project project dot connection provider dot get con here okay after that we have to create the statement statement st con dot create statement okay st dot execute execute uh, update update okay so actually we did not created our 
table so create a table student and first we are taking the course course where can here we are taking 20 after course we are taking branch branch while care we are also taking we are taking 50 after a roll number where care we are taking chat hundred after our name where care we are taking it to hundred and a father name father name where care we are also taking it hundred at last gender where care ten oh I just forget the roll number we are making it should be the primary primary key okay so let me run this query let me show you the description okay so you can see the course name branch roll number the branch roll number is a primary key okay so here we have to write the query to insert in database so let me start insert insert in, into student okay values here we have to enter the values the first one is we are entering a course course and after course the next one is for branch let me write this okay after branch roll number after roll number we have to insert name after name father name father name at last gender okay When this one is successfully inserted, it will move to the response. We have also sent response dot send redirect. Okay. So here I'm writing admin home dot jsp. Okay. Now we have to run this admin home page. So let me run on this on server. Clicking on finish. We start the server. The server is already running. It will take a little bit of time. Now, here I am entering BTEC branch. I am just reading computer science. Roll number I am inserting 1001. Okay. And here I am inserting Amit. Kumar, father name I am writing here Samit Kumar, gender I am just writing male and let me click on save. Waiting for response here, hey, let me check out in the database. Select star from student. Now, here you can see that our data is successfully inserted. Here you can see the course name BTEC, branch, computer science, roll number 1001, Amit Kumar, father name Sunil Kumar, gender, you can see the mail. So, so this is all about add new student part. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to insert new results in your database. I hope you guys like this video. So please hit like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.